Hi, E! News. Come on in for my closet confession. I'll show you where my closet is and then I need to change. Here she is. Come on in. Okay, so we're in New York City, obviously, if you couldn't tell from all the buildings and the noises outside, but this is my second bedroom. And when I first moved in, I thought, ooh, do I want people to come and stay with me? And then I thought, mm, no, I don't. So I made my second bedroom into a closet slash office. I have shoes up on the top here. I also have shoes all the way down the bottom. And then I even have another shoe wall. So on this side, any shoe color you could literally imagine. I honestly should have worn these today but next time, next time you guys come back. And then on this side, this is my greatest achievement. Deciding to put a makeup vanity inside my closet because it gets rid of all of the clutter. I have so much more space having this tucked away. This is the closet inside my closet. And I'm very clean and organized because I would have a panic attack if I wasn't. Okay, I feel like I'm also known for sets. So I have an entire section of all my sets. I also keep things that are very nostalgic to me. So this set in the front, I don't fit in this. I could never wear this again, ever, if I tried. But it was one of the first sets I wore on Summer House, my very first summer. And I love it so much. And it just makes me happy when I look at it. So this stays in my closet forever. So my favorite thing I've ever been given is definitely this top. I got this from my grandma. She bought it in the 50s. And I can't tell you how many times I've worn this top. I wear it at least twice every summer. I've worn it on job interviews. I've worn it with jeans. I've worn it with leather pants. It is definitely my favorite thing. I've kept it in really good shape. And I also just feel like every time I wear it, it's like a little piece of my grandma, like saying good luck. <laughs> Her, you're gonna look great tonight. So I love this top and I've had it for over 10 years now. The most career iconic thing I have, and I don't know how iconic it really is, but when I first moved to New York City and I had to go on my first job interview, I went to Topshop and I saw this velvet suit and I fell in love with it. It's matching pants and a blazer. And when I saw it, I was just like, I'm going to live in this suit. I ended up naming it my lucky suit because I went on the job interview, I wore it, I got the job. Then I wore it out on a first date, which seems crazy that I showed up to a first date in a literal velvet suit. Ended up dating that guy for a couple years, bad choice, but I wore the suit. And I always keep it in my closet because it reminds me of when I first moved to New York City and I just love that. And does velvet ever really go out of style? If I had to pick one item in my closet that I feel like is the most representative of who I am, it's actually not a piece of clothing. So I'm gonna get this bag up here. How cute is this? I had this way before mini bags were ever in style. This is a bag from my childhood where you could buy your Barbie a matching outfit to your outfit. And I remember seeing this in the store, crying to my mom that I needed this bag. So when mini bags came back in style, my mom reminded me that this was in the basement and I went and I got it and I've used it ever since. It's a little torn, but this is basically like a vintage Barbie. And it's the cutest little bag. See how dirty it is in there? I used to put like crayons in it. But I just think it's so nostalgic and very, if I was a bag, I would be this cute mini pink one. Okay, so my biggest splurge item, and it's partly a splurge, partly very me and was on sale. When I got my first job in New York City, after I got my first paycheck and I called my mom crying, think, think, thinking that something was wrong with the taxes, I went to a sample sale. And I got these Manolo Blahniks from a sample sale. 
And I have to make a confession. I've never worn them. Not one time have I worn them, but they were my first pair of expensive shoes that I could buy myself. I spent my entire paycheck on these shoes because I lived in New York City for the first time, had my first job in New York City, and I felt like, what would Carrie Bradshaw do when she got her first paycheck? So that's what I did. I went to a Manolo sample sale and I bought a pair of shoes that I will never wear. <laughs> If there was ever to be a fire in here, I hope that never happens. The item I would save is probably this vintage dress from my mom. Um, my mom said she wore it when she had kids. She was already married. She wore it for like a New Year's Eve. And I can be, I, when I was little, I could vaguely remember her wearing this dress. And I always used to love the fur sleeves. So when fur became really in style on sleeves recently, I wore this for a winter house confessional and it was one of my favorite confessional looks. And I feel like if I ever wear something vintage from my mom or my grandma, I'm like automatically protected. So I love wearing their old pieces and this was, she was so ahead of her time. Look how chic this is. And this was like, oh my gosh, 20 years ago that she wore this. She was so tiny. Something that you might not think would be inside my closet, which I'm going to show you, is a fake Chanel bag that my best friend Hannah got me for my 30th birthday. Um, partly because she thought it was funny and partly because she knew for my own 30th birthday, I wanted to buy myself a real Chanel bag. So I bought the real one and she bought me a fake one, but I, really love this one and I use it all the time. So who would know? Who's gonna know? Another page closet confession. I have a top that I wore for a summer house interview and I think I accidentally threw it away and I couldn't find it or I donated it or I let someone borrow it and they never returned it. And the fact that this top was missing made me sick. So I scoured the internet on Poshmark and I found the exact same top and then I rebought it for like double the price, but I needed to know that it was in my closet and I needed to have it back. And the top is over here. <laughs> it's like not an expensive top at all. This is from my local Zara four years ago, but I remembered it and then couldn't find it and then had to buy it again. The number one thing that Craig loves when I wear is mini skirts. Something about it, he just loves them. So I got this mini skirt and I actually wore it for a Giggly Squad show in North Carolina. And I love it so much. It's about two pieces of thread and minuscule. It's for a baby, it's for a child. But I love this skirt so much. And I know that Craig always loves when I wear mini skirts. So my first off camera date with my boyfriend, we were in Charleston and I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea what to wear down there. So I just went for a simple pair of jeans. They were flared, let me see if I, here they are. These were one of my favorite pairs of jeans at the time. So I went super simple, which is, you know, not really me, but I had to do something just chill, so I didn't want him to think I was trying so hard. And then I paired it with, I'm pretty sure I still have it, let's see, somewhere. Maybe I don't. Oh, I just did it with like, the most basic, basic outfit ever. It was during the day. I didn't really know what the weather was. I didn't know if we were wearing heels. I didn't know if we were wearing sneakers. So I just went, girl next door. She's wearing a cardigan. She's so sweet, she's so wholesome. And she just has jeans on. And I think that's really what locked him in. Little did he know when he started dating just how dramatic I really am. <laughs> Never feel obligated to wear anything that Craig has ever given me because I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> any fashion item he's given me, I haven't really liked it, but I've told him, I'm very honest. He got me a necklace and I said, I love you so much. I will never wear this necklace and I think you should get your money back. He has given me one item that I 
love and I use it all the time. And I don't feel obligated to use it when he's around. I genuinely do love using it. So this is the first gift he ever got me. He bought me a Fendi bag for my birthday or Christmas. I think it was this was for my birthday. And I love it so much. And how cute. Craig really wanted a section in my closet, but as you can see, there's just no room for him. So I gave him his own closet. My spring coats have nowhere to go, but it's gonna be shocking because this is not at all as organized as mine. But he's lucky. Somebody would use that as a studio apartment in New York City. He's actually very lucky and doesn't know how lucky he is to have this real estate. Okay, so in the beginning I picked 10 of my favorite items, so I'm gonna do stash it or trash it. I am a big sunglass person. I'm always ordering them off of Amazon. So I got, this is one pair. It's giving very, okay. And then this is just like a classic aviator. But I already know, I think I'm gonna go with these ones. So sorry, Coco Chanel, but <laughs> you're getting trashed. Now we're going to do shoes. I wore these to BravoCon, and this is gonna be a crazy statement, my most comfortable shoe. I mean, I walked for seven hours in these shoes, and they were amazing. I think it's because of the platform. And then these are my first ever pair of Louboutins, but Steve, I love you so much, but I think I need to trash these. Okay, my next thing is I love pink mini skirts. If I see one, I have to buy it. So I actually should get rid of one of them. But I wore this to a Giggly Squad show in New York City and I loved that look so much. So I think I'm going to trash this one, even though, look at this little button. That's adorable. So stash it or trash it. I think I'm gonna trash this one. But really I'm keeping them all, so this is stressing me out. Now we have leather jackets. I bought this one on Etsy. It's like this vintage leather, I really love it. And then I splurged and got this one. I love patent leather. So I don't know, stash it or trash it. I think I'm gonna trash this one because I love her. <laughs> okay, party dresses. Both have gone unworn. This, I can't even remember where I got it, but I do love a feather and I love a sequence. This is giving very New Year's Eve, but this is giving mod. It's giving 70s. I got it from ASOS. So stash it or trash it. I think I'm trashing this. I'll wear this anywhere. How cute is this? One secret I will reveal of the most scandalous thing I've done in this closet is, as you can see, there is another building out of the window. And at nighttime, they can see directly into my closet. But when I'm trying on outfits and I'm changing clothes, I am the naked neighbor. And I kind of feel fine with that because I'm doing something. I'm trying to get an outfit together. So if I have to take my top off at a moment's notice, I have to. So that is probably the most scandalous thing that I've done in the closet. And I know for a fact, some of my neighbors have seen me naked. But like you're welcome to the neighbors. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my closet confession with E! News. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.